Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but at the end there it is. And we know scripture that says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. And the truth was that Bert Childs was a blessing to me. He made life so miserable for me, I had to start looking at my life differently. The next step is, that is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. I remember I was playing a game with my nine-year-old son, John Leslie, and I beat him 10 straight games in a game called Connect Four. And finally, I said, John Leslie, I'm bored. I don't want to play you anymore. And I got up, I said, I'm ready to go to sleep now. And repeat out to me, please. Let's say do this together. It's not over until I win. John Leslie said, no, you can't go now, Dad. I said, why? He said, it's not over until I win. That was his attitude. We sat down and we played several other games. And finally, after the 11th game, John Leslie won and he got up and he yawned. And he said, I'm ready to go to sleep now. And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through what if we have that kind of attitude the cars repossess nobody believes in you you've lost again and again and again the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream reviewing it every day and say to yourself it's not over until i win Life will yield to you. Now here's the next step. Repeat after me, please. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself. Surround myself with winners. Become creative. It's me. I've got to make it happen. It's not over until I win. Has everyone, anybody ever seen something for you that you didn't see it for yourself? I didn't see that for myself. Maybe that's why my favorite book says, eye is not seen, ear is not heard, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you. Because of what he saw in me, he inspired me. He gave me a vision of myself beyond my circumstances, beyond my mental conditioning, and beyond the job where I was, because I thought I was just a disc jockey. I love that. I'm master of microphone. You drop me in any city, I can master a microphone. I can turn a city upside down with a microphone. But... I had more in me than I was expressing, and I did not know it. And because of this encouragement, I became a community activist. Because of this encouragement, I started doing a talk show called Voice of the People. Because of this encouragement...
purpose, but you will fail your way to success. Goethe says, that which does not kill you will make you stronger. See, 85% of people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. That's why you have to be of good courage. You have to have courage. When life knocks you down, I have a saying, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. So once you look at and decide the goal that you want, you want to put some things, put a treasure board or a, a gold board and have pictures of the goal that you want to achieve so you can see it every day. When you get up in the morning and the last thing at night, you're programming your subconscious mind where nine out of ten decisions that you make comes from there. But the next thing, ladies and your life it was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit Michigan where I was operating my business and I fell on some hard times and I was sleeping in my office 